I'm sure most of you know what is this game, but for those who seriously have no idea, I have only one question for you. Are you even one of us? Get it? Imposter as in not one of us? Okay fine. Among Us is an online multiplayer social deduction game developed and published by Inner Sloth. The game takes place in space, where players are divided into either crewmate or imposter. The crewmates must finish all their tasks or identify all the imposters to win while the imposters must kill all the crewmates before the task bar ends. Players can vote to eject suspected imposters by calling an emergency meeting. If you have played the game before as an imposter, you might wonder how some players can identify you effortlessly or you have no idea how to disguise yourself or even maybe you think that they are just simply just too good. To win the game as an imposter, you need to know how to manipulate people. To do so, you need to know how people's minds work. So, here are the top 7 psychology tricks you can use to help you win as an imposter in Among Us. Primate theory believes that you can use a set of stimuli to manipulate people's future thoughts and behaviors. Although you obviously cannot control someone to do anything drastic, you can push them in a certain direction. By priming them at the beginning of the game, you are giving the players a foundation on which to base their thoughts on. For example, suppose you are red. To avoid suspicion, you can say, I think I saw some light colors near the body. In this way, you can subtly associate the characters with light colors such as white, yellow, or light green as a murder. Whether they believe it or not, you have at least planted a seed in their minds. You can also use your action to prime someone. How did you do it? Easy. Choose an unsuspecting crewmate and stick together. If a body is found, claim that it can't be you because you were with this crewmate. To pull this off, you need to act like a crewmate and fake a mission. Since you need to be close to your crewmate, you have to be smarter in the ways you kill. Either kill only during light off or only when there's a second imposter. The principle of reciprocity in social psychology indicates that people are more likely to help those who helped them before. As an imposter, you can use the principle of reciprocity to your advantage. Be nice whenever you have the chance, vouch for someone, support their claim, and act as their alibi if they were suspected. Be careful not to be too obvious though. Make sure you can provide a reason for your vouch. You can say that you saw the same thing they did and were with them throughout the round, so they could not be the imposter. If you did it right, they will think you are a reliable teammate, and you can now take advantage of it. Kill other players while maintaining the trust between you and the target player. Eventually, the target player might even believe you over their crewmates. The problem with the game is that everyone knows that there is at least one imposter. Therefore, it makes sense for everyone to be alert to each other, which makes your job as an imposter more difficult. To win, you need to find someone who can easily pass the blame on, the scapegoat. How do you find your ideal scapegoat? Well, according to social psychology, People tend to blame someone else for their problems, and scapegoats are usually outliers, so look for someone who does not move in groups. Since other players cannot vouch for the scapegoat's position, it will be so much easier to pin the murder case on them. Bonus tip, target people who don't fight that easily. The scapegoat may find out your purpose and turn you into a suspect, but if done right, scapegoats can hugely increase your chance of winning the game. Projection identification shows that humans tend to bring their feelings and assumptions from previous relationships into new ones. You can use this principle to turn players against each other. Pull attention to the crewmates who had previously won as an imposter. Point out how they have they won in the past and should not be trusted easily. This way, people may start to agree with you. Then, you can continue to build on that story by killing players other than the target. Even if others do not believe you, you can always choose a scapegoat from the team suspect pool, then give them enough reasons to suspect the scapegoat. Memory is not as difficult to manipulate as you may think. You can influence and distort someone's memory by simply changing the way you ask questions. 
When you want someone to agree with you, be careful and specific in your words. Suppose you want to target Red as a sus, rather than asking if someone has seen him, you can ask if someone has seen him doing a specific task, like fixing wires. Because when you pull the focus on one task, other players may answer no and forget that Red may have completed other tasks. This is not a straightforward method. Some people may have stronger beliefs about their memory, therefore try to identify the crewmate who is easier to manipulate. It is harder to identify lies when packing lies with facts. Instead of lying completely, you can put in some incomplete facts along with it. For instance, instead of saying you were in a particular room to distance yourself from a murder, mention how you were nearby that room without giving too much details. So even if another player is inside that room, you can adapt and claim that you were in the hallway near the room and they may have not seen you. It's also a lot easier to keep your lies intact if you don't provide too much detail. Know when to tap in and when not to, because some people may be good at identifying lies. Lastly, one of the main principles of persuasion is consistency. This is especially useful when you have become a suspect but were considered innocent in the previous rounds. How can you take advantage of this? Firstly, highlight those who are inconsistent with their stories. Remind the crewmates they have defended you and why. Emphasize that your innocence is consistent with their inner beliefs. And if they turn against you, maybe they are the imposters. Stick to a coherent narrative so that others are more likely to believe you. Okay, that's all the tricks you need to become a pro imposter. Please remember that these tricks are not only powerful in game, but also in real life as well. Manipulating and lying is always discouraged. Please know the boundary between the games and life. Do not hurt the people around you. So if you find this video enjoyable and helpful, you know the drill, like, subscribe and share. See you next time.